Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I think we're going to do something a little different. So if you would bear with me during this video, I would appreciate it. But Spartan, what are we doing different? It's starting just like any other video. You're right, except we're rank 7. Now, I have put up a lot of um, pretty awesome videos, if I should say so myself, not toot my own horn, but they're pretty fun to watch. I enjoy watching them, watching them myself, but one of the things that you guys don't get to see on the channel are the videos that I watch in private that I've recorded where I do a bunch of dumb things. And I thought, why not test something out? You know, not an everyday thing, obviously, but why not test out a video where we go over and critique our own gameplay. Now, this is the first time I've watched this back. I have not watched this back since I played the match last night. And I will be honest, there's going to be a lot of dumb things happen. Whether it's me or whether it's other people, we are going to cri critique everyone equally. Except myself, I'm going to critique a little, a little bit harder than everybody else. Now, I will say this. This has been the match that I have gotten my first amount of hate mail from. Uh, on World of Warships Legends. What are you talking about, Spartan? They can't send a hate mail. Well, they did. I got people, and it's pretty easy to do if you want to send hate mail. I'm not going to explain how, but it can be done if you're so inclined. I use it personally to send GGs to people. It takes a minute to do, you know, as far as finding their name and all that stuff. So, just, you know, that sort of thing. I'm not a hate mail kind of person. Don't get me wrong. I'll say crap in the chat. I, I, try to, I try to avoid it, and here lately I've gotten better at it as far as just keeping myself muted when I'm upset. But it still does get the best of me once in a while, and I, it's not like I'm super mean to people or anything. I just call out stupidity. That's all it is. And I call myself out on it in chat, too. So, And I get quite a, people, uh, quite a few people laugh at me as well. Now, we capture C immediately. And the next thing that I know, you know, first of all, I'm in a destroyer. Why are you in a destroyer, Spartan? Well, it's pretty simple. I can't get a decent destroyer to play on my team. Now, I say that. I have had good de destroyer players on my team. In fact, I had a guy, I can't remember his name right offhand, but we, we did really well together on shards. And uh, it was a fun match. Me and him literally solo carried the entire team. While our team sat behind a freaking island in the back, the two of us just went out and wrecked shop. I ended up dying, of course, because I'm in a battleship, he's in a destroyer, but he avenged me and ended up pulling out the game. So, it was it was a fun experience, but you don't get very many good destroyer players, and that goes for battleships too, so don't think I'm just hating on the destroyer players. But, you don't get many good destroyer players in ranked battles right now. There are a few, and unfortunately I've run into a couple, and my luck is, you know, terrible, so you guys know how some of this ends up. Now, right off the bat, this goes horribly wrong. I let him get too close, he detects me, I then charge out of the thing to try to get him spotted. I've got the smoke going, unfortunately he's able to stay ahead of the smoke and I'm unable to turn because I've got propulsion mod so I can't turn very well. Uh, and we go like Tokyo Drifting and he is tearing me apart. He is not the only one tearing me apart, his teammates are helping them tear me apart. And finally right as I get around the corner here I'm just like, ah screw it I'll take a shot. And we get a good hit on him for one, you know, one hit. 594 damage, not a lot, I get it. The Fubuki is very capable as a gunship. Uh, it's got a slow reload, but the amazing high explosive that you get with Japanese ships in general, they have the best high explosive in the game, it ain't even close. The British are the closest ones to it, but the the French, or not the French, but the, the Japanese high explosive is absolutely disgusting and terrifying if you're in a destroyer. Uh, we get two hits, and come on, are we going to get another? Nope, we got two hits with our destro or with our torpedoes. We were throwing them out there, just trying to see what sticks. And the Mayhem has taken a lot of damage, you know, also. And now we get a good salvo, finally 1,700 damage. And remember, the Mayhem's got some decent armor, so we're doing 1,700 damage to a Mayhem. But we're not giving ourselves up. He's using our smoke screen. And you can see, I thought he might just sit in there because he's taking a pounding. If he comes out, he's going to be dead. There's nothing he can do about it. And he come out. So, we're not going to hit him with the torpedoes, but he's not getting much further. And you can see the damage just start racking up as we get penetrations with that high explosive. Six penetrations and uh, 
you know, it's just a matter of time before I finish him off. Really, I've missed him. He gets more shots off. Ah, oh, his team just wrecked me. That would be a cruiser. Uh, that hurt. And, ooh, come on, don't get hit, Spartan. Okay. Okay. Now, we have 866 health. We are no longer in danger of being shot. The cruiser did smack us, unfortunately, and left us with no health. Now, the fact that we have no health whatsoever is going to play a big role in my potato later on. Now, I'm not one to, to say that I'm a great player. I'm not. You guys have seen it in streams. I'm, I'm above average at best. Uh, but I enjoy playing the game. I enjoy recording narrations of my good games and posting them for you guys to enjoy. That's all I am. So, yes, I get upset when people potato. And I'll be honest, I'm not upset at the guys that sent me hate mail. Now, initially, I, I was kind of, you know, okay, they sent me hate mail. I don't recall being that big of a potato. I remember this match pretty well, which is funny because I'm the only person that seems to be doing anything of consequence. Now, don't get me wrong, the destroyer on my team is out there. He's solo against, uh, he killed a cruiser, I believe, or got help killing a cruiser. And now he is one versus the, one v one the destroyer, which is pulling the destroyer away from me. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I had nobody on this team. But I'm saying it seems like I'm the only one trying to win the match. And that is a big thing. Winning the match. Now we have both caps. We have the points lead. Right now what I need to have happen is my team to put themselves in a position to defend this cap from attack. Because if we do that, we win. It's not even close. Hi Spartan132. I saw your comment yesterday and uh, yeah, this is your, your fault. I'm just, just putting this out here. <laughs> so, you can see I tried to get get cheeky. I thought that the worst bite was going to sail past the island. He apparently thought better of it and didn't. And now we get a chance to potentially torp the Spartan. And, uh, unfortunately, these guys are doing a pretty darn good job of going, Hey, there's a destroyer out there. I don't want to come out from behind the island. So, we're just going to try to play. And I should have put that last torpedo launch right along the shore of the, the island. That's what I should have done, right there in that situation. You can see, they're, they're not coming out. They haven't came out this entire time. Why would they suddenly just decide to charge out? There's no reason for them to. Now, they are winning now because our destroyer succumbed to the relentless assault from the enemy destroyer and battleship. So, that was the thing. And, oh, hello, War Spite. You may have gotten away with it last time, but you're definitely going to take two of these. And sure enough, that's 25,000 damage. I'll take it. War Spite is now in a bad way. He knows that he f***ed up. And I am gambling real hard right now that I am not going to get obliterated. I only have 866 health, and I am very, very close to the enemies. Uh, and we know that the destroyer could potentially come back at any moment. We can't afford to be here in a position where I could be absolutely picked apart the moment he does. And you can see Queen Elizabeth is turning. Those were bad torpedoes. I should have maybe went widespread or something like that. Or at least assumed he would turn more than he did. But you do your best in the situation. Now, I am not somebody who is almighty when I'm under fire. I'm not. I make the same mistakes everybody else makes. I do learn from my mistakes usually. Uh, and I do a pretty good job overall of paying attention to what's going on. Whether it's the the timer, the ticker, uh, the scores, uh, who's got what bases, where the last known of the most dangerous ships to me are. And I do a pretty good job of noticing. And, and those are all uh, keys to being good players. And you can see the gaiety here. Now, we have an Arizona pushing up into the center. And at this moment, he's going to come in real handy for helping with the Gaid. I don't have the opportunity to really punch the Gaid in the mouth. Because as soon as I fire, I'm a dead man. So, I use my last smoke and get ready to start firing my guns. I'm also lining up a torpedo strike just in case. But I'm thinking, okay, 
the battleships are outside of the realm of being able to detect me. So as long as we can finish off the gate, we are going to disappear immediately. Because nobody would see us. Uh, but the battleships are getting closer, and our Arizona is in a bad position. I think it's Arizona. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I wasn't really paying attention. I think it's in Arizona, though. Um, he's doing a pretty good job against the gate, and we finally get discovered. And then the moment, yeah, it is in Arizona. But now the Arizona is in the center of the cap. There are three battleships against us. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this entire time. I didn't notice it at the time until the very end of the game when I'm actually having to fight everybody by myself. Uh, spoiler alert, Arizona's about to die. You can't push that far up, get torped by a destroyer, and then sit in the middle of the map without consequences. Especially when there's Queen Elizabeth, a war spite, and a Arizona, I think, uh, against you. It's just this overwhelming firepower against you, and you've already taken massive damage from the torpedo strike of the destroyer, and down goes our Arizona. Now, what is going through my mind in this moment? First of all, I have to maintain my concealment. I can't get spotted. If I get spotted, I'm a dead man. Okay, there's no getting around it. But, we have torpedoes loaded. Nine torpedoes in the water against two battleships coming into the cap. They have to push into this cap to win. They have no choice. We're winning on points, uh, I believe. I can't really see because Wargaming, please fix this. Yes, we have 870 points. Please outline the numbers. White on a white cloudy sky <laughs> is hard to read. Please help us. It's a small UI change, I know, but just an outline or something to give us an idea of what we're looking at. Now, if you look at the score right now, we have 900 points, they have 824. Now, I believe that at this moment is the last time that I look at that score. And we miss our torpedoes against the Arizona. It's unfortunate. Now, I have three enemy battleships coming into the cap, and they are going to cap B in a very quick hurry. But remember, the last time that I looked at the score, we weren't that far ahead. And they're about to take a second base, and I cannot possibly stop. I can't use my guns to reset. I can't uh, do anything other than hope for the best. So I launch one set of torpedoes at every single one of these guys, uh, trying to anticipate which direction they are likely to turn, and also try to avoid crashing into this island so that I have a clear exit strategy to maintain distance. Because at this point, as you can see by the timer, even though they have two bases to our one, we are still likely to win this. We only need 25, well, 28. Now we need 24 more points, okay? Yes, they're gaining eight every five seconds, but we are gaining four every five seconds. The score's getting a lot closer, but I still believe that we would have won this match. Had I not done what I'm about to do, which is freak out thinking, okay, we got the torpedo hit, he burned his damage control, I need to set a fire, and then I just potatoed in the moment after I fired my guns thinking, these guys are shooting at the AFK guy, and unfortunately they weren't, and Spartan takes me down. So, I don't know if you noticed what the score was right when that happened, but we were 10 points away from winning, which was three ticks. They ended up winning because they sunk me. And that is what gave me the, uh, the hate mail. But as you can see, I'm top of the leaderboard. I did everything I could in that map to, to guarantee the win, and I came up short. But this is a lesson for everybody, not just myself, myself included. I'm still learning the game as much as anybody. Uh, but this is a lesson for anybody that you have to make sure before you make that commitment to double check everything because had i looked at the score i wouldn't have opened fire because we would have won they the gap was just far enough apart i believe that we would have won that match i think they had 920 we had 986 at the time when I fired my guns. I could be wrong. Somebody can pause it and look back. But it's something along those lines. 
But because I thought that they were about to pass me, I had to do something. And unfortunately, as soon as I fire my guns, I'm detected, they shoot me, I'm dead. That's just the way that happened. So, I hope you guys like this. A little bit more of a critique breakdown of stupidity. Uh, but also, just kind of showing that in the heat of the moment, sometimes even decent players, and I do say I'm decent, I'm not the best, obviously, but even decent players can potato. So if you like what I'm doing, punch your like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.